My name is Oracle Eyes. I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. I My question to you is, um, for 30 plus years of my life, the first 30, because I'm 51, I studied, 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 and I studied so much information about the Moors. And mm-hmm. even back in the 90s, when I was in the Nation of Islam, we studied so much about the Moors. Now, my question is, because of late, I've listened to a few of our um, brothers and sisters who are seemingly conscious and educated and a lot of the information i'm getting from these people uh they're calling the moors the dirty moors Mm. and they're referencing uh them as not our people that they're a separate subgroup of black people that are not that they don't even like us Mm. as the the black men and women here or the melanated peoples here on this earth. And I just found it shocking because I've heard it from three separate people who have, you know, very high demand podcasts on YouTube. And I'm just like, where is this concept of the dirty moors and that they're not our people or they're not for us? Where's that coming from? And do you have any information? Sure, sister. So again, um, when people talk about the moors, there is a time when we went through that whole school. In fact, Dr. York was very instrumental in putting out the information because we were known at one stage, stage as the Nuwapian, the United Nuwapian Nation of Moors. And what he was doing, like he did with all the other schools, is teach us this information. And one of the things where this is coming from um, in relating to your question is that when people say Moors, they don't realize they're different types of Moors. So you had... Um, you had Moors who were known as the Morenos. Well, the word Moor comes from different um, origins, like Morenos being one of them. And um, Melanin or Milan, um, that's another one. And then you have Negra, where you get Negra, or where they say Negro. So it's a, the situation is like you had those Moors, the Morenos, who actually um, who sold out. Much like this, you know, when you talk about slavery, they they talk about you had the house Negroes and you had the, you know, the field Negroes. And the house Negroes were considered the ones that sold out or were easily influenced by the slave master. It's the same thing when you're talking about Moors. So you have those Moors that sold out. And this is where they ended up in what people call like in Morocco. And uh, they wear the, the word, they wear a fez. Like what we're wearing, what I'm wearing is called a tarbush. And there's a lot of information and science to go into that. But the, the reason they wear the Fez is because the capital of Morocco was that, that the city was called Fez. And these are the ones that, that, that sold out. So you have a situation where the real Moors, and it's the same with Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and all that, because the, the wars go on when you, you have two sides against each other. And what the devil normally does is he favours one side and then they think they're favoured and then he goes behind those people, goes behind their back and favours the other side. Like, sell weapons to these people, sell weapons to these people, they fight and kill each other, he benefits, he rebuilds everything and he makes money from it. That's an analogy and an example. So, yes, you do have fake moors that sold out that were basically... um, yeah, th- those are the ones that the, the real Moors, um, they, they basically are yeah, now exposing and saying that those are the fake Moors. But a lot of people don't know that they were, they're different factions or Moors. But the reality, though, is when we went through that school of the United Nuwapians of Moors, we came out of that because most of what the Moors are after is this, you know, the acres and the mule and not wanting to to receive reparations and get given stuff because of what they went through. But the reality is we got to a point where we came out of that and the master showed us that nobody comes to your rescue and you are African first, regardless of where you are or what title you choose to pick up because it's about your DNA. And so we had to drop all that stuff and some people, unfortunately, are still trying to you know, go down that route because they feel that because the Moors had treaties and there were records to show that, you know, you're a free man and you're not a slave. But in today's climate, 
they don't recognize that. Some people might go to court and, you know, try and use that whole system of proving that they're free, but there's so few that are successful with it because the devil don't care whether or not you present facts. If they want to do you, do you, you know, bad or injustices, they're going to do it. Case in point, the master teacher, partner, Bab Yanun, who is innocent, even with all the evidence and all the facts, you know, we're still having to fight and go through this thing. So I hope that's helped you.